Hi there, my name is Bhushan, back again with the Java FX video series. In our previous video, we have discussed one of the database operation that is update operation. So in this video, we will discuss another database operation that is delete operation. So without wasting our time, let's get started. I will quickly open the scene builder and uh, in our previous video, we have created this uh, text box employee ID. So in this video, I will, I will make a use of this employee ID. If you haven't watched the previous video, I highly recommend you to watch that video. And we have a delete button. So the user will enter an employee ID that he wants to delete. And when the user clicks on this delete button, we have to trigger an event. And inside the event, we will call the delete method of DAO class. So that DAO class will take care of delete operation. So let's do that. Let's minimize this and I will open the employee controller. So we have already created a property for that private text field search employee ID. So I will uh, make a use of this property and uh, I will create a method private void delete employee and I will pass an action event and this will throw some exception class not found exception and SQL exception. So inside this method we will call the delete method of DAO class. So let's go to our DAO class and uh, we will create a method inside our DAO class public static void delete employee by id so for this method we will accept the id so which is of integer type and again this will throw some exception class not found exception and also sql exception so inside this method we will write our query string sql is equal to within the double quotes delete from employee which is our table name where id is equal to we will pass the id for this inside the double quotes I will pass the ID and I will close this statement and inside the try catch block this will throw some ex SQL exception inside the catch block I will print the statement error occurred while deleting the record and let's print the stack trace and let's throw an exception so inside the try block we will call the utility method that is db execute query so for this we will pass an sql statement save this and go back to our employee controller so inside this delete employee we will call the delete method of dao class so which is uh, since the dao method is a static method i will use the class name employee dao delete employee by id and i will uh, get the employee id from this property which is search employee id dot get text and let me since this method will accept an integer i want to create i want to convert this string to an integer for that i will take a help of integer parsint and i will paste this so that will take care of converting a string to an integer so i will uh, let me cut this and i will include this in an try catch block try catch this will throw an SQL exception I will print the statement error occurred while deleting the record and let's print the stack trace and let's throw the exception inside the try block I will paste this statement and save this and after this uh, statement I mean after deleting the record we have to display a useful message to our user in a result console for that I will take a help of result console property and I will set the text as record has been deleted successfully let's save this and let's let me annotate this with an at fxml because I want to hook this method to our delete button so let's click this delete button and as you can see you can find the little arrow button click on this and you will find the delete employee method so select this and let's save this let's clean our project first run and test the application okay so we have to delete a record so for that i'll quickly go to our database so and uh, there are two records in our database let me try to delete this uh, second record which is bharat so the employer id of bharat is 4 type the employee id 4 and when I click the delete button, as you can see, the database driver has been 
register or the JDBC driver has been registered. So I think our uh, data has been deleted from the database. Let's go to our database and uh, execute the query one more time and see. Uh, previously it was the two records and now the second record which is Bharat has been deleted. And as you can see in our uh, frame in the result console it was displaying a message saying record has been deleted successfully. So that's all about this video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in next video.